Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas, uh, Texas on Friday, July the 30th, and welcome to our video commentary. Well, something very interesting happening. We have a little dispute between the governor of Texas and the attorney general of the United States, and it has to do about illegal, illegal immigration. As I'm sure you know, we're having a very serious problem with illegal immigration on the U.S.-Mexico border. People are coming in, and they're coming in in huge numbers, and nobody is, in fact, controlling this. Uh, the excuse, the original excuse, was that they could come in and then wait for their turn or their court date on American territory. Under President Trump, he said, you can file for asylum, but you're going to wait in Mexican territory. The net result of the Trump policy was that uh, immigration was at least contained uh, while this was going on. The net result of the Biden policy is that almost a million people have entered illegally into the United States. And this is creating all kinds of problems, not just in Texas, but in many other places. So the governor came up with an idea that he was going to arrest illegal immigrants as trespassers, meaning he was going to put them in, in jail for trespassing, either private property or state property. And the attorney general said, you cannot do that because immigration is a federal issue. And this really is an interesting case, not just from a the standpoint of reality, what we're living here in Texas, but also from the standpoint of the Constitution. Yes, it is true that the federal government has the authority over immigration, but it's also true the federal government is not enforcing immigration laws. So, you know, who wins this? I think popular opinion, I'm pretty sure that Governor Abbott is going to win because I think most people who see what's happening on our border, not just people coming in, but the threat to public health that these people have become. I mean, letting people into the country who are not vaccinated, who've had no, we don't know who they are, and they're coming into a country in the middle of a pandemic. I mean, that just doesn't make any any sense. But it's an interesting issue, and how far it goes, I don't know. But it would be good to take this to the Supreme Court and argue that if the federal government is not going to enforce immigration law, then the state government has to protect itself and do whatever it has to do to protect its people and to protect its properties. It's a very interesting argument, and this is no longer theoretical. This is not reality. Uh, the federal government is not enforcing immigration laws, and the state of Texas has to do whatever it has to do. I, I don't know if it's going to work, but I think this is going to be an interesting one to watch. But I think clearly public opinion is going to be in favor of what Texas is doing. And uh, well, let's see what happens, though, when it gets into the courts. Thank you for watching. And if today is your birthday, happy birthday. Bye-bye, everybody.